Alrighty, welcome back to GG Gaming. So we got another fun one here for the Giovanni Shadow Cresselia uh, battle. I keep wanting to say raid battle. Not a raid battle. Just the battle in Pokemon Go. This is going to be an all legendary build that, man, it really does destroy for Giovanni. So of course the main guide is standard Pokemon. This is my all legendary recommendation. All right, here we go. Okay, let's jump into this, and here's what we have that we are going to work with. We're going to do Cobalion. Hands down, probably the best legendary Pokemon to take out Persian, if not the best Pokemon in the game to take out Persian. Um, Xerneas. This is the Kingdra, okay, version of Giovanni. So Xerneas being the strongest fairy type uh, legendary in the game. It's not even fair against this poor little Kingdra. And then we'll use Evitel on the anchor to, to round it out. If you have powered up your Necrozma, you could insert your Necrozma there or Darkrai. Any of those all going to work absolutely great. But let's get into this and actually hit the play button and see this thing play out. Okay, here we go. Okay. Probably won't pause this too much. We'll just kind of let this play through and I will ad lib some dumb comments here and there because this is going to be an absolute breeze. Of course, with Persian, first thing you always do, you get a... <coughs> Gotta burn those shields. Look how fast Cobalion's Sacred Sword charges. It's absolutely crazy how fast this charges. We're down to maybe 20% HP. Sacred Sword, three hits, charged. Pretty much three hits and charged. We've already burnt both Giovanni's shields before we even hit 50% HP. Total craziness with how good Cobalion is. Right back into charge and Sacred Sword, and boom, Persian is down. Did not even get the opportunity to use a charged attack. Poor little Persian. Nope, took one extra attack there. Two extra attacks there, actually. But it charges Sacred Sword. So go straight into Kingdra. Gonna go and swap over to Xerneas. No reason to take out Cobalion if we don't have to. Um, look it out, look at this. Look, look at Moonblast. Moonblast charges so fast on Xerneas. It's almost cheating. Moonblast has got a massive damage. Look at this. Boom. Wrecked Kingdra. Wrecked him. I mean, he's not even, even trying. Take a look. So we had Cobalion, about 40% HP. Xerneas is going to finish Kingdra with over 50% HP. Yeah, we'll definitely block that. Then we're gonna go right into Cresselia. I can't switch over to Yvetel now, right yet, because my timer's still not up. I'm switching to Xerneas. So let's just do some fairy damage to Cresselia. It's all ban it's all bonus. That's why I said you can kind of insert anything to be the anchor, as long as it's super effective in this setup, and you're gonna be just good to go. Right into another moon blast. Just crazy how strong these Pokemon are. It it's an entirely different story when it comes to legendaries versus standard Pokemon. They are so strong. Um, Xerneas is, is really, really good. So there we go. Finally got the Yveltal switch. Yveltal? Yveltal. No, I know I'm torturing the name. I'm sorry. Go right into a Dark Pulse. As you see here, he has no problem taking the damage. No problem whatsoever finishing off this Cresselia. Um, he would have no problem taking out Cresselia on his own, if, even if uh, Xerneas was not up. Um, just given how fast Dark Pulse does uh, charge. So therein comes the last shield. From that, it is game over. All we got to do is hit one more Dark Pulse here. Boom, right there. But we did not do that because we wanted to keep testing and keep trying other things. So we exited out of the fight before we killed or knocked out uh, Cresselia. But hey, there you go. An all legendary build. That one's, that's just so easy. So easy. So hey, drop a like, hit that sub button. If you have not, let me know what you think, what you would change, what other legendary Pokemon you're using to take out Cresselia, because I will get another Super Rocket Radar, and I will be able to test some more things again. I got to finish the current quest line, though, to do that, so it's going to take me a few days. But otherwise, hey, see you in the next one.